Paul from High Tech Legion, and we'll be taking a look at the MSI Z77A GD55 motherboard. This motherboard is the Series 7 chipset Z77. It is built for second and third generation Core i processors. Of course, you know that the new Ivy Bridge processor will be out soon, so this will be a perfect uh, perfect platform to put it on. It has PCI Express Generation 3. It is built for the 22 nanometer process. The new Ivy Bridge processors will be 22 nanometers. It's SLI capable, Crossfire capable. It does have Click BIOS 2. I'm not sure if you know anything about Click BIOS, but their first Click BIOS was a little bit gimmicky, but they have worked on Click BIOS, and, a lot, and if you haven't seen the new Click BIOS, Click BIOS 2, you'll be very impressed with it. They made a lot of nice refinements to their uh, UEFI BIOS. Of course, it also has the OC Genie button on it. If we turn the box around, we can see what it has, some special features, Dr. Moss 2, the high C caps, solid capacitors, SFC. It is THX certified. It has, of course, Click BIOS 2, OC Genie. Now let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. A couple things here that I'll pull out. All right. These stickers here actually came on the motherboard. I took them off for viewing purposes. So let's go ahead and grab this motherboard and take it out of the box and look at this motherboard. Now if you've seen the preview of the motherboard, I really couldn't mention anything much, so it was just a preview. So let's go ahead and actually take a, look, a full look at the motherboard. We'll take a look around. Of course, it's black. It does have some nice heat sinks on it. PCH, and of course, your VRM heat sinks. This is your OC Genie button, reset button, and power button. We do have a fan header up on the top. We also have checkpoints. So if you want to check your voltages, could go right here and check your voltages. It's right by the 24 pin power connector. We have another fan header here. This is for USB 3.0. We also have two, four, six SATA ports. On the bottom of the board, we have our, our front panel connectors, USB, audio, etc. Another fan header. PCI slots, one, two, three, PCIe slots meaning. You have one, two, three PCIe X1 slots. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the back plate. Of course, we have our sound plate. And then now you'll see that we have one DVI, we have a VGA, and we have an HDMI down here. Ivy Bridge as well as Sandy Bridge has onboard video. The new Ivy Bridge processors will have a little bit different uh, onboard video on them. We will see that when we do our Ivy Bridge review. But basically, which is great about this is if you have a discrete card on there, you could use Lucid Virtue. Lucid Virtue allows you to save some power while your system is at idle when you're not actually using your discrete video card, meaning you plug Plug your monitor into your main video card, then take a VGA or another DVI cable, if you have that accessible, on your monitor, plug it into here. When your system goes into an idle state, Virtue will take over, it'll actually switch to the onboard, it'll save yourself some energy. That's a very, very good trait about these boards. Of course, it, has, it does support SSD caching, which, uh, came, which you saw with the Z68 platform. But let's go ahead and finish looking at this. We have our USB ports here, USB 3.0, 2.0. We have an uh, optical and an RCA. Two more USB ports and a PS2. Your 8-pin power connector is here. This is your fan header for your CPU. And as I said, everything is military class on this board. It says it has the military class denomination and it does have some nice beefy heat sinks on it. 
so you should be able to overclock this board well. Let's take a look at the back I.O. plate. It also comes with four SATA connectors, SLI bridge, and something that, uh, if you're not familiar with these, basically what these connectors are, you take your you take your uh, your front panel uh, case connectors, plug them into here, and then plug them into your uh, header on the motherboard. So you could you don't have to fumble with this inside of your case, wanting to know where it is. I mean, my fingers are pretty big, and you know, without this, it, it's a lot harder in order to do it. Then we have our user's manual. This board also comes with a certificate of quality and stability. This is something new that MSI is doing and it denominates the military class and they're, and they're uh, focusing towards the military class stability of the board. And last but not least, we have our software application guide. Now, at the end of this re at the end of this unboxing please stay tuned I'm going to show you some benchmarks that are that we did with the Sandy Bridge 2600K processor so stay tuned thank you for watching see you the next time stay thirsty bye bye